You want to see? Oh, this one? This is the uh, new uh, ATP full auto pistol. Uh, you're aware of what the ATP is. Now we've made a full auto version. You have selectable fire, semi, and full auto on that. The ATP auto. This one. This is the MKV. This is brand new. We just announced this one today, or actually yesterday. And uh, this is the MKV. So people have been looking for this one. After uh, announcing the TT33, people have been asking for this one as well. Okay, I guess you like it. Okay. This one is the 945 Compact. It's a compact pistol, packs a punch, NS2 system. Mm, you like that one too. Compact, he likes it. Excellent. Hey, everybody, I'm David, and you're here with the KW booth. And Jim, I apologize for that guy in the mask. This is his very first interview, and you know, just go away, go away. So, anyhow, what's new with KWA? With KWA, well, uh, you guys, you know, we've talked about our ERG line, okay, electric recoil gun. I've been waiting that for the longest time, so. We've all been waiting for that. We've been perfecting it, uh -huh. testing it out, doing a lot of stuff with that. Here at SHOT Show, we announced that the ERG is exclusively going to be licensed to Magpul. Magpul, that's awesome. Magpul. So that's going to come in three different flavors. Sweet. What I like to call. We're going to start off with our PTS CQB, okay. Um, and go down to our RM4 PTS Scout, mid-length, with the mid-length uh, handguard on that one, and then going down to the PTS SPR in a long rifle for our uh, SPR guys who like to hit, hit the long range, also with the UBR stock on there too. So as far as FPS, do they match as for size as, I mean, is CQB is exactly 350? 300 300, 350 FPS on CQB, and then we're going to go up to, uh, you know, 400 on the uh, on the other two rifles. Uh, these are going to have the recoil system in them, so you got that felt recoil. Uh, changes the game a lot. Changes the game a lot. I've been using the ERGs for the last year now. I've taken them all out to all the Lion Claws games, all the outdoor games. I had to actually relearn how to play this game. You can't just, it's not just a game anymore. So yeah. Well, obviously you got the recoil, so it's, it's going to, obviously your muzzle going to go a little bit more different, you know, so you not like it. You have to shoulder the weapon, you have to hold this gun right, otherwise you're not going to hit your target. So more controllability on this particular style of weapon. Okay. So full Magpul furniture, sights, everything you got going on there, and, um, and we're real excited about the, the, the partnership with Magpul on this one. Sweet, sweet. And this guy up here on top is? Now this one, uh, we've talked about our gas blowback rifles for quite some time. We've been looking at ATF approval so we can sell these things in the U.S. without any hassle. Finally, we've got the ATF approval. And this is the guy right here. Uh, we'll have this uh, in the Magpul version as well as the LM4 PTR uh, KWA version as well. So we're real excited about the gas blowback on this one. Have you guys checked this out at all yet? You checked it out? I've seen parts of it and this and that, and it's an awesome system. Um, can you tell more about it? Is it more like well, besides having Magpul goodies on it, right. okay, you have a full travel bolt. If you uh, take a look at this, you have a functional forward assist. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me see if I can open this up for you. Give you a, a quick look here. These are always pretty tight. Okay, so. Just like the real steel breakdown. Just like the real steel breakdown. That's a full steel bolt. Now is there anything on here like adjustable as far as adding if you want to increase the FPS and things like that? There's, it's not adjustable at this point. Um, uh, obviously there's kits out there for uh, other guns that are out there, I'm sure somebody figure something out, but uh, we don't have anything adjustable at this point. Um, you know, we have a, a low power bolt for MP7, MP9. We may look into that. But right now, uh, these are for training. Uh, they will come with a 30 round mag. They will cut off, uh, lock back on uh, on the uh, on an empty mag. And uh, so for right now, that's what we're looking at. And if there's another application that we need to look at, we'll look into that. Now you say for training, so. 
the FPS is kind of hot on this on these weapon system? Well, we're still in about the 400 range. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and and again, um, it's it's going to be it's going to be uh, fairly adjustable if if need be, but. For now, 400. Now, price range. We're talking. Now, these are obviously these are top tier guns here, so they're not uh, inexpensive. But what you're getting for, that's what you get paying for, correct? You get what you pay for. Uh, Magpul products are awesome. Um, it keeps things lightweight. It keeps some, uh, you know, mobility up during your training, during your games, and uh, you know, it, it is. There's some cost behind that. Right, and these are available sometime first, second, third quarter. We're, we're looking for summer. We're looking for summer on the on the uh, ERG line, and on the gas pullback line. We're, we're looking for this quarter, first quarter here. Hopefully by March. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Jim, for taking your time. I'm David, and this guy's out. See ya. Last but not least, uh, Jim's going to tell us about the Chris. Yep, the Chris. You mind? The much anticipated Chris. I never mind talking about this gun. People have been asking about this gun since last year when we uh, announced it at SHOT Show. Nobody um, believed it would actually happen. Nobody believed it actually happened. Something showed up on the internet at one point where someone thought it was real. And then you said... I'm not uh, even talking about that one, though. The, the, uh, the guys that actually have the Chris over there, their real steel, actually came over and were handling that thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they come over and grab this thing all the time from the Chris booth. Uh, they had a lot to do with helping us out and right. making this thing. So, nice. Um, if you take a look at at this, is the features are going to be the same. The size is the same. It's a one one scale. Uh, you still have your single fire. Something that uh, people are very surprised about is it does have a two round burst. Functional nice. two round burst. Is that a chip or how is that actually accomplished? This is well, it's gas blowback, so it's just okay. the way that it's that it's, it's just uh, mathematics. Yeah, no iPad. <laughs> Okay. So, right. <laughs> and you have your full auto. Um, your safety and fire is right up in this spot right here, so you're ready to go whichever time you want to go. Very intuitive. That's ambidextrous. Yep. It is Notice ambi. That. Both both selectors are ambidextrous. Uh, you have a spot for your rail. If you want a rail on there, you can do that. Um, we uh, today we added the the light. So just like the real one, you can add the light in there and have it functional. Well done on that. You mind if I put my hands on that? Uh, sure. I know you're sure. not really probably supposed to do that, but if you don't oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, that. I'll take, yeah. Um, you can feel the weight. You can feel right. how uh, it's so close to the real one. On this yeah. one, we have the extended mag on it. Right. It's going to be a 50-round mag. Okay. It'll also come with a uh, the standard mag, which is uh, going to be flat. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 24 rounds. Okay. And uh, are these guns over here something we should... Uh... Well, those are the, those are the standard uh, series that we've had for quite some time. Right. So those, um, we, 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 there's ones we've already had out for some time. Right, you know what? i got so to cut this short, man, so uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, but I, I'm fired. <laughs>